Welcome back to CBS 2 News at 9 a.m. It's time for this week's Furry Friend Finder, when we help a four-legged friend find a forever home. Sandra DeFeo, the Executive Director at the Humane Society of New York, joins us this morning. And we have Darcy here. Yeah, I call her Miss Darcy. Miss Darcy. Because she's so well-mannered. <laughs> <laughs> now, we, I, I mean, when I first came out here, I said, this looks like my dog, but she's in white. My dog is all black, mm -hmm. also a rescue. And um, such a sweet dog. Yeah, it's hard to say what breed she is. Right. But the fact that she's eight pounds and she's just shy of four months, it, she could be like a fox terrier, rat terrier mix, something like that. But and so, which so is she's a very only, energetic, you know, right. active dog. When I think as she gets a little older. <laughs> and and what's her story? Well, you know, she's a puppy, and mm -hmm. sometimes people get a puppy and then they realize they can't get home from work or yeah. they can't, they don't have enough time. You, you really should be a couple of people, or you have a, you know, more of a home job where you're working from home, right. uh, because when you're raising a puppy, it's just like having a baby. <laughs> it definitely is. Um, so is she, I mean, what, what kind of home are we looking for? Is she housebroken or? Well, no, she okay. needs to learn about that. Okay. But she is using the wee-wee pads really mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. And we've started to take her out, so she's used to the sounds of the city. Um, but she is sensitive to noise. If she hears like a big, you know, bang of a truck, she's like startled mm -hmm. a little bit. Mm -hmm. But she's very, you know, interested in everything, curious. So yes, you'd have to have time to housebreak her and get her into the routine. Now you were saying that um, she's not a barker, which is mine is yeah. <laughs> anybody who owns like a somewhat chihuahua-ish dog knows what that's like, but she's not been barking a lot? No, and somebody actually here said something about Basenji, and they're mm. a quiet breed. Mm -hmm. um, so it's possible there's something, because I really, she's not barked. <laughs> <laughs> so what kind of home are we looking for? Is she good, do you think she's good with kids or other pets? I think so, as long as they're not, you know, very rambunctious children, mm -hmm. that would be, because she's, you know, pulling at her or whatever. But mm -hmm. as long as they're, you know, respectful and help in the process, of raising her, I think mm -hmm. it's a good thing. All right, and you said that she's not so great at um, riding cars. No, that's one thing I noticed. She gets, she doesn't throw up, but she gets drooly. So I think it'd be meaning that she's nauseous. So I think giving her a little medication before she travels, anti-nausea, about an hour or so will definitely help with that. But she's not a dog you're gonna be able to take with you everywhere all the time, mm -hmm. for that matter. She's so cute. Yeah. We have a furry friend finder <laughs> update. Night is a five-year-old cat who was adopted by Catherine, whose nickname is Cat. <laughs> cat tells us that Knight made himself at home right away. Knight loves to pose for photos, watch TV, and nap. I love that. We were talking about maybe bringing in some cats a little, yeah. little bit more, because I know there's a lot, of, a lot of cat people out there, mm -hmm. too. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Bye, Miss Darcy. Okay, Miss Darcy. <laughs> Say goodbye. For more information on Furry Friend Finder, head to our website, cbsnewyork.com. We'll be right back.